heal the world, make this a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying, but if you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me. Hello everybody, I'm Lady Cheryl and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to share with you what I did with my apple scraps after I water bath canned applesauce. And, and as the title of the video said, I made apple cider vinegar. Here are the apples that I purchased from a grocery store because my apples weren't uh, ready at the time. And this was a month ago. And I scrubbed them using vinegar because you don't know what kind of pesticides and uh, insecticides uh, growers used. So these gala apples were very well scrubbed and then towel dried. And then I peeled them so that I could uh, proceed with making my applesauce. Well, normally, most people just throw those scraps away. But what I did was I made apple cider vinegar. Into a sanitized one-half gallon jar, I stuffed the peels and scraps as best I could into the jar. Real tight. So I'm pushing this down real hard. Get it tight in there. And then I'm going to put some more. Okay, guys, so to my uh, mixture here of my apples and cores and peels, I added one-fourth cup of sugar, and now I'm going to add some distilled water. Add enough water to fill up this one-half gallon jar to the shoulder, and it's right there. And I'm going to mash down so that the water can go all the way down in the little air spaces. I pack this really tight. And to my surprise, this time I did it right. I got almost all of it in there. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. And then I'm going to put a breathable fabric over. And what I use is a coffee filter. I'll be back and show you that. Breathable. And so all I have to do is to stir this up every few days and i'll come back and show you when i'm doing well i really don't have to what do i i'll come back and show you <laughs> you okay. see here i put this up under my popcorn maker in the corner of my dining room nobody comes in even though i'm not having visitors this will be undisturbed and i won't accidentally bump up against it or anything and so in day two i'll take the cover off and i'm going to stir it to make sure that all of the parts of the apple from in this area here is uh in the liquid and that everything is fermenting fine so i'm gonna come back on day two something day Two through eight, I open the jar. At least I take off the uh, paper towel and rubber band off of it, and I push everything down. And you can see it's starting to bubble a little bit at the top. It's fermenting. See those bubbles? So every day it gets mushier and mushier, and you're able to keep the brine all the way on the liquid. So basically, you're just rotating it to make sure that you get all the liquid. I need to get that little piece right there. Then, you want to put the paper towel back on top of it with the rubber band. I'm going to turn my spoon the other way and I'm not going to put it back in there, but I'm going to get that little piece right there. If I can, yeah. For you and, and I won't for use this, but if you mix it, you can, you can see it's fermenting by the bubbles. And of course, the water is turning cloudy. Okay, so I'll put the top back on and I'll bring you back. Okay, everyone, it's been 30 days since I started fer fermenting the um, apple cider. 
So now I'm going to just strain it. I don't have enough strength to pick this jar up. Let me try it with this hand. Let's try it like that. Okay. Make this a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying, but if so you can't going to for the living, mash make and a get better as place much juice out as I can. And for me. And there's still a lot in here. So I will do this several times and get all the juice out before the sake of the video. I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to put the um, scraps back into this jar. And I'm going to strain it again. And this time I got to be real careful because I only want to get it in the center here so that but it, it kind of looks like a regular apple cider vinegar. I'm going to stay right there in the center and strain it again. And this stainless steel mesh strainer is very fine. And even though I did it twice, that condensation was already there. It, it really didn't remove anything else. So there you have it. Free apple cider vinegar from scraps. Now, if you wanted to start the process all over again, you can add fresh scraps to this, or you can just put more uh, water and sugar in here and start all over, but I'm not. I'm just gonna put this in my compost after I get the rest of the juice out. Now, I wanna share with you that I'm not gonna use this apple cider vinegar for canning. Like when I'm trying to take a vegetable, an alkaline food to an acid state, I'm not going to do that. Because I really don't know the um, percentage of acidity from my homemade uh, apple cider vinegar. But this will be tasty to make dressing with olive oil. Any um, recipe that calls for you to use vinegar, apple cider vinegar, you can use this. And it was free. Absolutely free. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know that God loves you, and I love you too. Thanks for watching. Damn it.